what is up guys coffee break here and today i wanted to discuss the niners draft day possibilities so many ways to look at this from trades to what the cardinals will do at number one overall there's quite a few ways to look at this but i want to start off with my pick i've been pretty consistent i've been on record of saying the niners will get edge rusher out of ohio state nick bosa to me it has become more real and evident that nick bosa will be a 49er since the combine there's been quite a few visits with him and the niners and if he's available at number two john lynch will pull the trigger on him but i've been pretty sure about a player before and the franchise has taken it a different direction which is why i'll be looking at my bizarre scenarios so please buckle up it's going to get interesting the first one we'll be looking at is drafting quinnon williams now this is not bizarre by any means Quinnen Williams is a legit player, but do we actually need an interior defensive lineman? The answer is no. That's a position we're pretty much set on. But this move only happens if you trade a Solomon Thomas or Eric Armstead to another team. This draft is loaded with defensive line, and by the Niners making this move, they feel strong about two things. One, Quinnen Williams is a future pro bowler, and two, they can pick up an edge rusher in the later rounds. Let's see if that happens. You also have to remember, Mr. Street is coming off an injury, another pass rusher who we drafted last year people forget about him now the second scenario i see playing out is drafting josh allen now assuming bosa will be taking off the board at number one overall drafting josh allen is something i won't be mad at either he has continued to show growth year in and year out which is why people think he has a higher ceiling you keep the same athletic ability on the edge you have deforest armstead and d ford on the other end Woo! Talk about a mean defensive line. This will be awesome to see. And now defense has no excuses. It's time to show out Salah. Now my next scenarios will be trade backs. Not a fan of this, but it's still possible. With the Arizona Cardinals drafting Quinn and Williams, the 49ers will be bombarded with the offers from teams desperate to haul in prize quarterback in this draft, Kyler Murray. One team I see moving up is the New York Giants, swapping the second and the sixth with the addition of New York's second rounder may actually do it. You still get a high pick, number six overall, and you pick up another draft pick at number two. Gotta remember this draft is loaded with defensive talent and also wide receiver talent. Or dare I say getting the sixth and the 17th pick they got from the Browns. I mean, talk about negotiating your best deal. Honestly, that would be a steal. If it's remotely presented, you immediately take that offer. Two first round picks for a number two overall pick, I'm all in. The Niners need a playmaker, but they also need debt on the defensive side of the ball. Need a wide receiver or two, so the additional draft picks may help in that department. That would be crazy. But here's another team that can quite creep up the Washington Redskins who may have lost Alex Smith for for good I mean his injury was gruesome and I'll be honest with you I'd be surprised if Alex Smith plays quarterback ever again that's how terrible that leg injury looked and is but here's the issue having them move up to number two is a very very tall task but you look at other teams I mean who really else needs a quarterback not a lot a lot of franchises basically patchwork their way into thinking they have a quarterback denver i mean I, I'm, I'm still in the mindset that they will draft the quarterback but some of these teams really need a franchise guy but redskins i think are desperately in need in that position i think they attempt to move up provide every draft pick they can give first second hill throw in a third something for next year not gonna be easy but if you're Washington you're looking at being terrible this year if you want to bring some excitement to your team to your fans you'll try to move up to get a quarterback in the top of this round but I guess that will be determined on draft day which is coming up in a couple of weeks 
So I really need to hear your guys' thoughts and scenarios. Do you see any of these playing out? Drop a comment below. I like playing the game of GM. If any of these trades were presented to you, would you pull the trigger? And who would you consider drafting at that point? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Also, here are some comments from my previous video. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And as always, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.